So now moving on to uh, process our pan au chocolat. Uh, we've cut our sheet so it is 26 centimetres wide and then we're going to trim that in half so that we have 13 centimetre strips and then we're going to mark our croissants at 8 centimetres sorry, our pan au chocolat at 8 centimetres So be nice and precise. Again, we're working with six millimeter thick croissant dough here. And I've got another one out of there. Now these trimmings can be used for lots of other things. They can even be incorporated in small pieces into your products. So what I'm going to do now is egg wash the final third of each of the pieces. Just to demonstrate the standard technique. So depending on the quality of uh, product that you're making, you would normally, if you're making a cheaper style product, you want it to put your first stick just slightly over the third, bring the first piece over, then second stick just at that point where you've turned it over and bring it over again. Posh, pull down, slightly push down. So again, just at that point we're folding it over next stick in over push down now if you're doing an all butter croissant the more expensive croissant you can get the cost for it then you can put two of the dough sticks in at each point, but obviously it then becomes a much more expensive pan au chocolat, so you have to be able to get the price for it. Okay, just showing you another technique before I egg wash. I'm going to take my pan au chocolat sheet, turn it over, and then I'm going to out on the diagonal. Cut lines. I don't want to touch the ends, so I want to leave the ends of the sheet without being touched. That's going to be the finished side. So, again, using the egg wash, egg wash the final third, put my chocolate sticks in over over again and this gives me a cut appearance that will open up during the baking process and the proving process so again you can do different designs to enhance what you've already got and this works especially well if you're using a bi-colour or multiple colour pan au chocolate